Hey guys, Gary Lubbers with Obsidian Painting here. So what I want to talk about today is kind of what exactly we do. Uh, I've had a couple questions about the commission painting thing, and a lot of people weren't really clear on what's going on there. So I'm just going to redo this, and uh, hopefully it works. So essentially, um, the first thing we do is we get your models for you. Uh, for a project, say, you have in mind, for an army or, or uh, <coughs> what have you. And uh, essentially we get the models. We will get you great prices. We're not going to cheap out on you, and we're we're going to get you tip. We're going to get you quality models. We're not going to just go out and buy stuff off eBay for like twenty bucks and then get it and it's pieces of crap because they're not. I don't know. They're just not well taken care of, and then paint them up and say, "Here you go. Have fun." Uh, we're not going to do that. We're going to get you good models at cheap prices, and. Uh, after we do that, we, we assemble. And our assembly process is pretty straightforward. Uh, we put the models together, and there you go. If you want some customization, we can do that. It does cost a little bit more, and uh, assist, we can magnetize. Uh, as you see from the Space Marine Commander Help video, I'll post the link down there. Um, you can see how extensive we can magnetize a single miniature. We don't have to magnetize them like that, but what magnetizing does is it allows you to get maximum usage out of each model. So, for instance, say you had some space marines. Um, actually, that's a horrible for instance. Let's do like uh, something else that's a better for instance. Um, Say you had like a dreadnought and you wanted to switch out your dreadnought's weapons because they come <coughs> with all sorts of uh, armament. And uh, say <coughs> for one game you wanted to test out a las cannon and a missile pod. Well, we can magnetize them on so you can have your las cannon and your missile pod. And then the next game, say you want to try a plasma cannon and something else, uh, right? So. Whatever floats your boat, that's what magnetizing can really help with. And it's really great for tanks, because then it allows you to, say, take a Rhino, you can magnetize it, and then you can buy the upgrade sprues for the Razorback, for the uh, Vindicator, for the Predator, for... Uh, actually, I think that's about it. And then you can magnetize this one Rhino, and then it can become all of those tanks. Right? And that's pretty cool. You can get Whirlwind, too. There's, that's it. And uh, same with uh, the Imperial Guard Chimera. You can magnetize it, make it become any Lehman Russ. Essentially, any Imperial Guard tank be is based off of the Chimera. So, there you go. Uh, after we do assembly, uh, and we do, once again, we do do conversions. So, not just magnetization. Um, we'll completely take a model, and uh, so for instance, see if I can get this guy. In shot. Not really. But anyways, this guy, his, uh, this chain sword was actually on this arm. And this arm had a bolt pistol. But I thought that looked silly, so I swapped it around. It was actually kind of ridiculous getting it swapped around. Because I had to make sure the, uh, the handle thingy was properly over his hand. It was really complicated. Um, <clears throat> other things, like, uh, I'll even, if you've seen this model, I, that little guy right there, it's hard to see him, but that little guy, I actually completely sculpted him, he's a little nerdling, and uh, sculpted maggots all over that guy. Uh, this guy's getting a complete re-sculpt, kind of, uh, scratch building a re resurrection orb on this hand, and we're going to completely scratch build his war scythe, so that way it fits perfectly in his hand. And yeah, and he's got a cool little base there. They got a rocky world or something. He'll rock your world. What? Um, and then after assembly, we go into painting. And there's three levels of painting, and <coughs> the most practical is the first. So the first is tabletop level. And tabletop level is essentially a level that is our main level. We paint pretty much all of our miniatures to this level, and then some miniatures to the second level, and then barely any to the third, because there's really there's really not a lot of reason why you should get to third level. Uh, it's just there, just in case. Uh, so the first little tabletop 
Uh, it's <coughs> the fastest way we do. And we can get a squad done in very little time. And uh, essentially, you, you'd want to take this for if you're building an army or if you're building a couple squads. That's what you'd want tabletop for. And tabletop, <coughs> as I said, it's really quick, so it's really cheap. It's about $4 per model, uh, but it does increase depending on size. So small models are $2, and <coughs> medium models, which are your basic, like this guy or a space marine or something, is $4, uh, jumps up to about, I think it's like 8 or 10 bucks for a large model, which is something like an ogre or a... Something like that, like a troll or an ogre. And then it goes into cavalry models. And cavalry models are just <coughs> anything mounted or anything with wings. And that's $12 per model. And then huge models, like giants, that's $20 per model. And that's essentially tabletop. And uh, so, yeah, we have some deals on right now. Uh, and that is, uh, we're doing box set deals. So any battalion or battle force uh, for Warhammer... Uh, is on for 400 bucks for one box for the battalion, and then 600 for two, and then uh, for the battle forces for Warhammer 40k, they're 300 dollars for one box, and 500 dollars for two, and then it just repeats 300, 500, so you can get four for a thousand bucks. Um, then going on to professional level, and uh, the oh hold on another deal I have another deal. The other deal is any army list posted on my website uh, is, is around $800, and they're 2,000-point army lists, so they're good to go. You can deduct from them to make smaller armies, and they're really easy to add on to if you want to do, like, 3,000-point games. But they're straight armies, 800 bucks. That includes the army. That includes assembly with magnetization on most parts. And uh, or where necessary. It also includes tabletop level and any HQ models or hero or lord models uh, are done to a professional standard. So you get some high quality paint job in there. All right. And uh, so going on into that segue, professional level models are our second one, and they're pretty good. They uh, essentially are some of my best paint jobs. And there's blending going on, and there's all sorts of awesome goodness. Not to say that there's not blending going on in the tabletop minis, but uh, there's just more blending going on in the professional. And the professional is a pretty straightforward, uh, a pretty straightforward uh, payment thing. It's the same, roughly, as the tabletop just added twenty dollars. So it's about twenty dollars for just a straight up mini. Uh, which is like your medium size and then unfortunately it's still $20 for a small miniature just because uh, it doesn't really make a difference on that scale once you get into high quality paint jobs and then uh, it just increases from there. I'll post all the prices down below if you're interested and it just follows the same price but like plus 20 bucks essentially. Uh, all vehicles are painted to a tabletop standard and they're all roughly the same price. So uh, a normal sized vehicle like a Rhino uh, costs 30 bucks. A uh, medium size like a Razorback, Predator, Lehman Russ kind of deal, it's around 50 bucks. <coughs> and uh, huge vehicles like Land Raiders, uh, Bane Blades, they're about $80. And anything larger than those kinds of deals. Uh, are kind of like more money. It's just how it works. Um, but here's the deal. I'm a pretty fair guy, pretty nice guy. And uh, if you buy pretty large commissions, like anything that's like over 700 bucks essentially, I throw in some like free cool stuff. Like I'll magnetize stuff just for the hell of it. And uh, I'll do cool bases. The, the, the bases do vary. I do have basic bases <coughs> and embellished bases. Basic bases is essentially just some rock dirt thrown on, maybe some flock, 
and maybe like some cool features. It, it all depends on what kind of basing you're looking for, really. Uh, embellished bases have some character to them, like uh, the Imperial Guards guys I have. They all have like bloodied bases, so that's an embellished base. And uh, I, embellished bases also, I take stuff one step further and I'll make it look really cool. So like, uh, I'll like this guy. I, a lot of cool rock stuff going on. And uh, maybe put some crystals in there. And then there you go, embellished base. The embellished base is like four bucks. Basic base is two. Basic assembly, by the way, is one dollar per model. Uh, and about ten dollars a tank. <clears throat> Magnetization is like five bucks. And uh, depending on like, the, once again, depending on the size of the project, I'll just throw magnetization in there. Any little cool little features I'll just throw in. I may even throw in some extra guys. Who knows? You never know with Canadians. But uh, anyways, that's about what we do. Oh, and the third level is competition. And we just call it competition because it's what I would personally enter in a painting competition. I'll literally paint something till I think it's bloody perfect. And, uh, there you go. And they're, they're really taken to such a high degree of painting on my part that, like, I'll actually go and I'll ask all my contacts and say, hey, what can I do to improve this? And then they'll give me that constructive criticism and I'll do it. I'll make the model better. I'll make it to a point where I actually go beyond my own abilities to make this model worthy of myself entering it in some competition. So that's about it. Um, that's what we do here. And as you can see, we also post painting videos. Um, and I'm actually working on doing a DVD in the near future. So all you fancy guys can learn how to paint from a DVD because you're too lazy to watch my videos. Um, <laughs> And uh, so I'm going to be doing that. I'm working on a paint line right now. And I'm also working on possibly some minis. We'll see, though. We'll see. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to be doing some bases soon, mostly for myself, for the commission side of stuff. But, uh, yeah. So if you guys have any questions about anything, feel free to email me at obsidianpainting at hotmail.com. Um, yeah. Also, I guess if you're staying this long, you might as well listen to me rant for some more time. Uh, if you're looking for a project that uh, you kind of just have no idea where to go with it, um, we'll actually help you out. You can just give us an idea like, hey, I want to start an empire army. <clears throat> you can just let us know, and uh, what we'll do is we'll help create and customize a whole army list for you. And uh, it'll be good like that. It, we can give us a budget. We'll go from that. And it'll all be fancy schmancy stuff. Okay? Or uh, you could send us an army list and we'll possibly give you some recommendations saying, hey, maybe you should throw in this uh, this squad instead of that squad. Save you some points and uh, get a better squad. So this is the kind of stuff we'll do. We can completely customize army lists for you. You can just say, hey, here's my budget. Here's my idea. I want to play fantasy. Uh, and here is <clears throat> the army I want to choose. There you go. You create the army list. <coughs> and, uh, yeah. And, and it'll actually save you money if you do it that way, if, if we create the army list for you, because then we already have preset army lists. Like, actually, the easiest way to do that, just go on our site and check any of the army lists we post up there and say you want to start, like, Warhammer Fantasy or a certain army. Just look at the army list, 800 bucks, there you go, got a 2,000 point army list, alright? So hopefully that's cool, and peace. <laughs>